Emergency shelters have been set up on Martha's Vineyard in the wake of this incident in multiple places, including St. Andrew's Episcopal Church, which also serves as the island's homeless shelter, took them in. Reverend Chip Seadale, a, a rector at St. Andrews, joins me now to discuss uh, what's coming next. Reverend, thank you for taking the time. We know you were at a conference down south. You, you weren't there, but you're sort of organizing, uh, helping to organize and run the response from there. Walk us through what it was like when these migrants arrived. We understand nobody got any notice about it. How are you helping them? No, we didn't get any notice at all, really. It was yesterday afternoon, probably about three or four in the afternoon, I got a call from a parishioner who uh, worked for uh, works for Community Services, which is a, a counseling uh, entity on the island. She was just getting ready to leave for home, uh, and uh, she called me and said there were 50 refugees standing outside, and she didn't know what to do with them. Uh, she phoned me and said, uh, uh, can we use the uh, homeless shelters that we use for the winter program here on the island uh, to house them? And I said, well, let's see what we can do. What have you learned about these migrants? For instance, you know, where, where, where were they planning to go? Where are they going to go? Uh, what kind of things do they need? Uh, I can tell you what they need right away. In answer to your first question, there's a lot of question marks involved with all of this. Um, I'm only learning uh, things secondhand. Obviously, they speak Spanish. I don't. We have translators there. Uh, my understanding is uh, they were not really told anything about where they were going. They had been to a number of other uh, spots, stops, countries, that sort of thing, before they ended up on finding themselves on Martha's Vineyard. Uh, so everyone was in the dark, including them. Somehow they understood they needed to go from the airport down to community services to find help, uh, and they walked the two or three mile walk uh, together to do that, men, women, and children to get there. In terms of what they need, uh, immediately they needed shelter. We found uh, enough space in our church and our uh, buildings in the church, our other facilities to house them for the night. I understand uh, just as we speak now that they're going to be there at least one or maybe even two more nights. Uh, the governor of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, Charlie Baker, has been involved with conversations. Our representatives in Massachusetts uh, are on site, uh, as well as some of the emergency personnel uh, who operate on the island helping us out. Remarkable, a two to three mile walk after being flown up the coast. Uh, earlier today, Governor DeSantis claimed credit for the move and called out President Biden for his border policies. Let's take a listen to what he said, and then I'd like to get you reacting. A lot that say they want to come to Florida. So our message is, you know, we're not a sanctuary state. Uh, we don't have benefits or, or any of that. There are some sanctuary jurisdictions, and that would be better. Now, what would be the best is for Biden to do his damn job and secure the border. Reverend, Reverend, obviously what you're doing right now, dealing with people is more important, but what do you make of this? Well, I think we're caught up in a, in a political machinery that's, uh, you know, lobbing bombs back and forth at each other. And, you know, from the church's perspective, you know, we're here to help and heal as many people as we possibly can. Uh, so it's really not our job to opine on all that. Obviously, I feel... Uh, most badly, of course, for the people we're trying to serve who get off the plane with young kids and uh, they've been traumatized in so many respects. They become, in some sense, a political football. And that's where we're spending our efforts and uh, our caring uh, uh, actions on their behalf. Uh, as far as the rest of it goes, you know, I, I know uh, Governor DeSantis had his uh, reasons for doing this. Uh, if for nothing else, he's called attention to the problem. That seems to be an ongoing situation. We all have to work through this together. But once again, from the church's perspective, we're taking care of the people who need our help most. That is our job. And just to be honest, uh, America is in real need of healing right now. In my estimation, the churches have a special place uh, that the churches as a whole can offer to help uh, America heal and reconcile. This would be a good place to start. Yep. Absolutely would be. And we do know that the governors of these states that are receiving buses and planes would certainly like some notice uh, ahead of time at the very least. Uh, Reverend C. Dale, thank you so much for taking the time. Best of luck with your efforts. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.